Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another episode of the show. And alongside my co-host and holder of the card. Hello, comic book fans. I'm Wild Bill, the Unknown Comic. And presenting you our Marvel Comics card. Our card of approval. It's, it should be a credit card. It should be. <laughs> should be a credit card only to purchase comic books. It should be a Could credit card exclusively to the comic book user so we can go out and buy your comics. There you go. There you go. So we're going to do a little, uh, Bill's going to do a little inside the cover here today. Uh, we're going to go back to some Marvel magazines here, Marvel horror titles. But we're going to go outside, the, we're also going outside the cover. Yes. We're going inside the cover and outside the cover. We're going to go outside the cover with this one because it is ripped on the spine. Yeah. And I don't really want to open it up. I can do it, but... <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I will wind up damaging the cover on this if I show and tell this to yeah. you guys. But I have... Look at that Boris Gallego This is the second artwork. issue. Pete's been really, like, spoiling you guys with all these, like, monster magazines lately. And I've been just, like, holding out. Can only hold out for so long. I said that for years. Now I'm no, like... No, I was just... But, you know, I did one. I only have three. Tales of the Zombie, yeah. Yes. One is in annual... Which I've shown off. And these, this one I wouldn't show off because of the ripped cover. But uh, i go outside the cover. However. I'll go inside the cover with this issue. Another Boris. That's right. How do you say his name again? Boris Gallego. We all just call him Boris. But yeah, that's, he does have a last name. Look at that. That's a work of art. That is awesome. the back cover. And what's cool about all these Tales of the Zombies, the inside cover is it's like, like a, it's like a poster. poster. Not that you'd want to take these apart, but I guess back in the day you buy People two did copies. That stuff. Well, you buy two copies. One is a read copy, and the other one is you rip apart and seventy five cents. All right. Yeah, hold on. I'll hold it. I got. You it. got that? Yep, I got it. Look all at right. that. All right, hold lift up. up. Look at that. Lift up. Oop. Look at that. That's a work of art right there. Yeah. He lives, he strikes. Pablo Marcos. No rave can hold him. Steve Gerber, yep. writer. Yep. You got a lot of other people inside here. Yes. You have tons of stories, which I'm not really going to get into, gang, because I didn't do my homework. We're just going to give you a tour of this one. But these two guys were the main brain on the zombie story, right? Steve yeah. Gerber and Pablo Marcos. But you have other artists in here, like Ernie Chan. Yep. You also have... Tony Isabella, Don McGregor, Doug, Doug Mench, Mench, Jerry Conway, wow, yeah, Chris Claremont, Lynn Carter, John Albano, Rich Buckler, Mike Esposito, Ron Wilson, Vic Martin. Yeah, it's all sorts of people working on these stories. Right, That's cool. Yep. Marv Wolfman, Roy Thomas. Yep. So you got your Marvel gang. March 1974. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stories. So usually in Tales of the Zombie, the first story is always about the zombie. And I guess this is like a rendition, like a photograph of what he would be, Simon Garth. Yeah, that's probably from a film, that's my guess. Does it say there? Let me see. Sometimes they say, sometimes they it's don't. Simon uh, Garth. They show it later on, again, but anyway, <clears throat> black and white art is just really talented. Pablo Marcos really makes this character come to life. Oh, this yeah. is written like in third person narration, just like the man thing in third person. Similarities between the two characters when you think about it, right? Together, uh, this takes guy. place in New Orleans. He's being yeah. summoned, like, from Haiti to New Orleans. These horror characters that were once regular men, and then now they're these Simon shambling regular shell. Guy. Yeah, just like Man Thing, very similar. And then the story will stop, and it'll then there'll be like four other other stories inside the book. It'll continue on later. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, if you like this, check so out, it's check like out a all this stuff. It's like a 30-page story. They'll split up into two 15-page parts yeah. kind of thing. And then they'll give you all these other... See, at the time, James Bond, Live and Let Die, was shot down like a... It was like a voodoo environment kind of story. It was actually shot in Jamaica. But So Tales of the Zombie has some James Bond filler stuff in here. 
And you get articles, interviews, and all sorts of cool stuff. This was the bad guy, the guy with the hat. Yep. In the James Bond movie. And there's the boat scene. Remember the, down here? Mm -hmm. Yep. The boat flying. Remember that scene? I saw that movie when I was a kid. My parents, we went to the, see it in the theater. Live and let die. The drums of doom. So you got another little like Twilight Zone story, twist of irony. This guy keeps hearing these drums, but nobody else can hear them. <laughs> it's going out of his mind. It's like, ah, make it stop, make yeah. it stop. He was a bad guy. He's getting haunted, basically, by the drums. More newspaper, magazine, article style stuff. Witchcraft, like that, which is... That almost reminds me of the movie The Devil's Reign. Yeah. Awesome. Then you got this other story with these kids that are vandalizing a graveyard. Boy, they ain't for a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the graveyard, kids. Yeah. Go drink your beer somewhere else. See the, see the hand coming up out of the grave yeah. over here? That's great. Grabs that kid's ankle, comes up out of the ground, coming after the kid. Graveyard is not a fun place to hang out. Awesome. Did you, did you ever hang out at a graveyard when you were a kid? No. I did it once. Yeah? Yeah. Is it eerie? Once. Yeah. I've just, just <laughs> never. Then there was... There was one where I lived, but you needed a car to get there. Yeah, and we had graveyards everywhere growing up in Ghost. I knew other people that would go in there and drink at night, you know. Yeah, that's, that's but what then you were stuck if the cops came in. I know, right? You were pinned down. There was only one way in and out, man. So it didn't make sense to me to go in there and do that. Four daughters of Satan. Yeah. This is a story like where one of them dies, like they all gang up on her. Chan. So they're gonna get the old hag and everything. They poison her, right? <clears throat> yeah. So they one sister gets set up and poisoned, and then they 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 take her body out, right? It's got like a twin. See this panel over here? The dragon her body. Mm-hmm. Where is that? Right here. The dragon her body out. Then she goes to sleep. I to murder someone. And go to sleep. And then it comes in as like Norman Bates' psycho mother with an axe, a cleaver. <laughs> Crazy grandma. Wakes her up. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Twisted irony. She gets it too. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. That's right. Now, well, let's, we'll come back to the zombie that's guy. That's right. Let's finish up the uh, zombie tale. Well, look, look at this, man. Look at this page. Yeah. That is a splash page. That's Pablo Marcos again. All right. So in here, it's like a story of like his his trial. This is him before he turned into the zombie. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a flashback kind of thing. This story did jump jump back and forth. Right, between his human life and his zombie form. But I guess this was cool that they did this in a magazine form. This would, imagine how this would be if this was a comic. Yeah, the color. It wouldn't have lasted long, I don't think, huh? Uh, I think it, it played out better in black and white. But again, you know, you're at the, even though that is the case, you're still limiting the your audience doing the more expensive magazine format, yeah. right? So, so if they had the comic version of this, it might have done better, maybe. I don't yeah, because he never appeared, to my knowledge. He never appeared in any color comic. comic. No, yeah. he was never in any of the color yeah. comics that I can remember. Just in the ads yeah. in the comics. That True. was it. That's yeah. the only time you saw his face. The Tales of the Zombie magazine ads in the back of Marvel Comics. 
And then, they actually, which is cool in this book, they actually give a little plug page to Pablo Marcos. Yeah, that's pretty nice, yeah. He makes the feature page. But man, can this guy draw, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Detail. And he only drew, like, in this magazine, he didn't really do a lot of other comics. I mean, he did stuff for Marvel, but Not a ton, this yeah. seems to, he really seemed to dominate in this particular, this is where he kind of was really did showcased. a lot of inking for a while, but he, and a lot, a lot of, like, stuff where he just... And I think Tales of the Zombie is really, sh Pop Locus to his showcase there. Yeah, two cool issues there. So there you have Tales of the Zombie, kids. Palace of Black Magic, plus a shocking story of Black Magic Vengeance Voodoo War, oh Mystic Combat oh in the Ten American issues and one annual. But That's it. Anyway, if you like this, please click the like button. And as always, we thank you for your comments and your support. We appreciate you being here for Comic Book Geezers. And but don't go away. Since you're still here, yes, I want to show you something. Let me show you something. <laughs> issue number 50. Comic Book <laughs> Geezers. Golden Anniversary Issue. Major price increase. 20, uh, $25. $25. Woohoo! Captain Periwinkle confronts his demons. Ah. You know. Disapproval code. Issue number 50. There you go. We'll bring him back <laughs> for a special anniversary <laughs> issue. Comic book geezers. Captain Periwinkle. We haven't seen Captain Periwinkle in a while. It's been a long time. What's he doing? He's, he's, he's uh, holding I think he's going to pick his nose and flick it at his demon. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like. Ah, the radioactive boogers. That's right here. Take that. Uh, he's sporting new pink gloves. Demon. Uh, he's always had pink boots, but I gave him new blue pants. There and an orange go. top. I changed his <laughs> colors. Still got his rainbow cape. Rainbow cape. There you go. Captain Periwinkle confronts his demons. There you go. Very cool. That is a crazy demon. And, and you know, only $25. Only well, $25. Because you guys can. Everything complain. else is going up now. Yeah. So, you know, so two cents to $25. What's well, the new president say, I did that. Yeah. Right. There you go. But yeah, price increase, 50th anniversary. And the display. Captain code. Periwinkle. Got some colors. Comic book geezers. Uh, as always, we thank you for being here. And as always, uh, we like we like your comments and we appreciate your support and thank you for your subscriptions. We'll see you next time on Comic Book Geezers. That's right. For Wild Bill IMP part, I have a good one, everybody. See you in a couple days here with more comic book mayhem. Till then, Bye. enjoy. Bye bye. <laughs>